Green criminology challenges our traditional understanding of crime and justice by focusing on a critical issue of our time, environmental harm. This emerging field examines how human activities damage our planet and explores innovative ways to address these harms. Green crime refers to crimes committed against the environment. These can be divided into two main categories, primary and secondary green crimes. Primary green crimes directly harm the environment, such as air and water pollution, deforestation, and crimes against animal species. Secondary green crimes arise from breaking rules meant to regulate environmental disasters or exploiting the aftermath of environmental damage. Green criminology takes a broader view than traditional criminology. It argues that we should study environmental harms, whether or not they break existing laws. This approach is ecocentric, placing the environment at the center rather than focusing solely on human concerns. Green criminology emphasizes environmental rights, justice, and the inclusion of animal rights in our understanding of crime. Sociologists have offered different perspectives on green crime. Ulrich Beck's late modern view sees environmental damage as part of a risk society, where new technologies create unprecedented global risks. Beck argues that environmental problems affect everyone, potentially transcending traditional social divisions. Marxists, on the other hand, point to industrial capitalism as the primary cause of environmental crimes. They argue that the pursuit of economic growth often leads governments to prioritize production and consumption over environmental protection. Marxists also highlight how environmental harms disproportionately affect the poor, reinforcing existing social inequalities. Green criminology examines various types of environmental crimes in depth. Climate change is a major focus, with research showing how wealthy nations and individuals contribute more to global warming, while poorer countries bear the brunt of its impacts. The field also investigates crimes related to waste management, including the role of organized crime in illegal waste disposal. Food-related crimes are another area of study, encompassing issues like food fraud, labor exploitation and food production, and the potential risks of genetically modified foods. The disposal of electronic waste, or e-waste, is also a significant concern, often involving the illegal dumping of toxic materials in poorer countries. Green criminology challenges us to expand our understanding of crime and justice to include the health of our planet. By examining environmental harms through this lens, we can develop more effective strategies to protect our shared environment and ensure a sustainable future for all living beings.